Dave, I suppose is that tonight the serious case of root miss root chances and and then conceding that goal. How would you kind of sum up tonight? Yeah, listen, um, disappointed or disappointed with the with the results. Um, pleased with large aspects of the performance, but we can't become a broken record in terms of going. Oh yeah, we've, we've played okay again, and then we've we've, we've not we've not won the game. Um, and that works both ends. You can be. And I will be critical at one end. And we've had at least four better chances than they've had to score, and we haven't scored than they have. Um, but I'll also be critical at the other end and saying that if, if that's the case and it's something that we have to have to look at, um, that you come away disappointed with a nil nil, not uh, not disappointed with a nil nil one. Um, so yeah, listen, we've had a, a chat in there, and I suppose. Some people have, have spoken and given given their their opinion on things. Not enough, in, in, in my opinion. Um, but we have to do something about it. Like I say, it can't become the same week in week out when we but our performances are good and the results aren't, aren't what's required. Um, and hopefully that what that needs to change. I was going to say it seemed like quite an extensive, you know, chat in there with the players. What's the type of things that were said from you or from players and other stuff? No, listen, I think after even after the um, the Torquay game, conversations between players should be integrated by players. Um, it gets boring all the time when I'm saying or giving my opinion without without something back. Um, and things happen out on the on the pitch um, that. Players might agree with, players might might disagree with, there's nothing wrong with falling out with people on the pitch. You've got to, you've got to move on. If you disagree with, with what someone has said, then pull them at the end and, and, and sort of tell them what your what your opinion is. If they're saying something that's right and you agree with, the likely is you'll sit there and shut up and say nothing. Um, but I think there's, again, there's a frustration. What the frustration can't become um, an anxiety around thinking, we missed another chance. Like I say, you, you can't perform well <coughs> all the time. Um, our first half performance was was really good. But like I say, we've, we've created good good opportunities to score. You have to score because football or well, goals change football games. Um, the second half, you can look at it and go, um, we've allowed a team to to score a goal, and from their perspective, they'll see it as a good goal, and then manage a game of football, um, and we've. Been really naive in terms of our frustration. Don't get me wrong; we've not been helped by officials who allowed um, the, the management of the game um, to again, get, get beyond ridiculous and do nothing about it. But it's about, like I say, it's about us and about we've got to focus on what we need to do better. Um, and I say, we'll do that. How much would you say Bloomfield having to come off after literally two minutes affecting the game and your game plan for the rest of the game? No, it doesn't, it doesn't, affect, the, it doesn't affect the game, the game plan. Um, because beyond that two minutes, yeah, we, I think we have a chance. I think we'll a chance before that, but he then has two really good chances after that, and Cross has a really good chance after that. So it doesn't really affect the game plan. We, like I said, we've created. Very good opportunities in the first half with with Parky Parky coming on. It was an opportunity for Mason, and again he's he's, he's picked up an injury within the first minute of the game, if you like. Um, so that's an opportunity again passed up. Um, so it, it doesn't affect it. It doesn't affect it massively. It affects the fact that you're going to make two more substitutions. But apart from that, um, didn't affect what we wanted to do, and certainly didn't affect the, like I said, the first half in terms of um, how we played and, 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 and the joy we got. Does the fact that we have two games in quick succession, Yorville then Barnet, really help you in a way to give the chance for the squad to bounce back? Um, I think what, what we've always said is that when you've had a disappointing result, you want to, you want to try and well, get the opportunity to, um, to put things right as quickly as possible rather than things sort of going on and, and, and festering. Like I say, the way, the way things work, we've, we've got a a really busy, uh, a really busy month. We're going to have a really busy season, um, so you have to move on, move on quickly. Um, and, and like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Um, but we're we're disappointed, really disappointed. Um, again, there are lots of different emotions you can go through. Um, we certainly won't hide away from them, but you, you've got to you've got to move on. We'll train tomorrow as we have done a different day, um, and. We go to Yeovil, which is, like I said, 
a tough trip, a long place to a long way to go. Um, looking to go and yes, improve our performance, but again, football's about about winning, it's about results. Um, and in order to do that, like I say, it's quite a simple game, you just get the ball and the goal one end and stop it with the ball and the goal with the other end. Um, and we've got to do that better, we've got to be more effective at that. Um, which is, like I say, has cost us over the, the last last few games. Just finally, um, any injury update on Mason and as well uh, over the weekend, Luke Williams? Mason's rolled his ankle, so again, we'll, we'll see how he is. Um, the Luke Williams one, uh, again, this is, I've, I've heard and seen lots of ridiculous comments over the, the past 24, 48 hours. Um, Luke's fine. Luke, Luke's, Luke's okay. Um, he's been out for a long, long time. And sometimes when you feel things, you when you haven't played a, a, a competitive 90 minutes for three years, you can fear the worst. Um, and he's probably panicked. Um, now, there are protocols that we'll have to go to to, to, to get him back. Like I say, psychologically, there'll, there'll be scores with him. Um, what, I, what I would say is that we're meticulous as a, 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 I trust my players, so I always ask their opinion, I trust my, my staff, and we're meticulous in everything we do, so we'd never put any players at risk. Um, so playing Luke on Saturday wasn't a risk, because he's taken part in every session for the last 12 weeks, and for the last four weeks, he's taken part in every, every session on at EDC on a softer pitch, a softer surface that we played on against Eastley on, on Saturday. Um, so we won't put people at risk. You can look at it and go signing with Luke was a was it was a risk because or a gamble because signing someone like I say who's played no competitive minutes in one thousand two hundred days is, is a is a is a gamble. Um, but we wouldn't risk him um, if we didn't think it was it was safe to do so. Um, He'll be, like I say, he'll be okay. So there's not a, it's not a case of, of looking for um, a scapegoat and saying, oh, Luke Williams is in you, and this, that, and the other, or we shouldn't have played him, this, that. If, if you look for a scapegoat, blame me. I've not, like I say, I have no problem with that. Rather than point the fingers at the players, point your fingers at me. Um, and if things don't go as I want them to, then I'll, 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 I'll walk away from football club, not a problem. So I'll take the blame for uh, if people want them to blame people, but that's what probably tends to be around here a little bit too much looking for someone, uh, someone at fault. I'll, t I'll take the blame for that. I'm big enough and sort of terribly enough, most of terribly enough to, to, for that to be the case. Um, but like I say, Luke will, Luke will, Luke will be fine. Um, and as I said, we've got to try and come up with a, um, a plan that allows him to go on the pitch, safe in the knowledge and trusting himself and trusting his body. and. Not fear of the worst, but that might be a process that, that I say, takes a little bit of time. Yeah, thanks very much. Thank you.